Hey everybody, Calliera here, and uh, you know, I've gotten now a couple, maybe a few requests to um, show my face when I do these. Now, uh, <laughs> it's about the gun, so, uh, but you know, I like to honor requests when I get them, uh, if I can. So, and mostly, I I'm not trying to hide from you here, but it really is just about the gun. And now you may, if you're familiar with this show, really, the buck again? Is this all you ever shoot? Is this all you're ever gonna show us? No, I've got a, um, I'm gonna be showing you some vintage guns very soon here. Um, but it's December 1st, I'm here at the Calier Ranch in Fair Oaks. Uh, here in Sacramento, California, and <clears throat> I would like to, uh, well, challenge myself here live on camera. You know, I could have written a top 10 list, sort of pondered it, right? Uh, and then brought it to you all wise like. <laughs> but then I figured, nah, let me challenge myself right here on camera live to come up with a top 10. And so the top 10 is top 10 reasons why the Daisy Buck is the best gun, as in rifle carbine, sold today in the world. Now, I know how crazy that sounds. I know that sounds like an outlandish um, proposition, right? Uh, <laughs> claim, that's the word. I'm, it sounds like an outlandish claim to make. Well, that's why we need a top 10. And since it's de December 1st and tis the season, if you are thinking about getting a BB gun for your uh, grown-up friend. No, <laughs> just kidding. If you're thinking about getting a BB gun, this is a youth gun, by the way, so it's very small. A lot of people would criticize me as to, you know, how, or not criticize me, but, you know, they would say, how, how do you shoot the thing um, with such a small stock, right? Geez, they don't have that complaint when they're shooting ARs, right, with the adjustable <laughs> stock, but oh well. You know, it's a tactical thing. Sometimes, tactically, sometimes you do bring it in close. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Is the Cali Air Cup of coffee? Cheers to you. All right, so I have a bucket, a shovel rather, a shovel head out at 50 yards. As I'm trying to hit. If the camera wasn't on, I would just hit it all day long. As soon as the camera comes on, you know, you know how that goes. Um, it has something to do with uh, physics, particle physics. I think that's what it is, yeah. Top 10 reasons. Am I on camera here? I hope you can see. why the Daisy Buck is the best gun in the world. Uh, you can hit out at 50 yards like I just did. 50 yards with a youth BB gun. I just keep hitting out at 50, being very, uh, Optimistic here. <laughs> Number nine. Yeah, we'll go backwards. You can hit out at 50 yards, but no, no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm stalling. Oh, come on. It's got to be price. All wood and metal except for some uh, composite sort of plastic 
composite polymer. It's more like a polymer, really. Um, and, and the trigger, right? This is the only polymer plastic on it. And then this is some sort of wood, some sort of wood, maybe even a clever composite. I do not know, but it's good. I'm not complaining. And a painted metal, sheet metal style uh, black. Painted black. Uh, yeah, come on, 30 bucks or so, 34 bucks. All right, and this particular, are, are we being told how many goes in here? Probably 500, 650, all right, something like that. Uh, I might be eating into my top 10 reasons here. Nice, non-adjustable. You can you can carry this gun by its rear sight. Nice and strong rear sight. Yeah, none of that adjustable plastic stuff up there. Oh, by the way, the front sight is also plastic, and so is the uh, the gate on here. And the safety as well yeah doesn't affect performance whatsoever ah oh, there there we go you can take the daisy buck uh, out on now of course you could do this with any but this is just such a small, compact, small, compact little carbine that you can kind of put it anywhere and just take it on out and use it. Now, this is sort of, uh, you know, the way I look at it, this is the predecessor of the Daisy 102 Cub. The dang things are nearly identical and shoots just as well. Maybe with a little less power, because it's old. Man, 50 yards, I only missed one so far. Okay, where are we at? Number uh, nine, eight, nine, uh, ten, nine, eight. Am I on eight? Yes, it's safe. Relatively safe, in other words, it, it it, uh, oh geez, less than 300 feet per second. Yeah. Three. Yet, you can still hit out in your backyard. <laughs> Haven't missed yet. Well, one miss. Should we count that? Uh, yeah, we'll count that miss. I can't edit this out on time. <laughs> uh, ammo, ammo. Now, of course, you know, any, you could say any, um, you know, BB gun. That's a, a component of it. But this happens to take that ammo, which is 177 little BBs you can get. 6,000 of them for less than $20. Sometimes for like 11 bucks, you get 6,000. Yeah. Mm. Quiet. Very quiet. I can literally shoot any time of the day or night with this it's no louder than the background noise in my neighborhood my my the the fountain in our backyard 
is louder than the BB gun. The BB hitting the target the, is louder than the report. So, what's that, number seven? How about number, we'll go to number six. <laughs> I'm just making numbers up now, sorry guys. Number six, what makes the Daisy Buck the best gun in the world? I'm talking the best gun in the world. I'm, <laughs> and if I don't, uh, if I don't create a, a good top 10 list here, this is gonna seem extremely hyper, hyperbole, 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 hyperbole. To get back with me on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the number six, this, like I said, is really the predecessor to the 102. Yeah. And the 102 came before, of course, the famous 111, the Red Rider, and, uh, and the Lightning Loader, which is the 108. And yeah, you can laugh and say, yeah, the 102 came before the 103, 104, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the 102 sort of had this design that pretty much started really getting set into the the daisy guns almost all of them were replicating this now internally i can't speak for uh there may be of course internal differences and we we know that just without opening the gun we know that because sometimes triggers are oh i jerked the jerked the bit uh, barrel trigger on that so um how about this number five it has like room for improvement like if it would be really cool to put a uh, metal lever on this put a cat uh, an old cast iron lever on this um you know get rid of the plastic yeah it would be really neat to get rid of the plastic on this. Which means there's room for upgrade. There's a, oh, I forget. If I remember, I'll try to drop the link. There's a guy that does custom stocks and four, four grips for daisies. And, um, hmm, maybe he can do something along those lines. We'll see. We'll see. So number five, very customizable. Look, these aren't rivets. These are screws. You can take these out. You can do stuff. Yep. It's not all plastic, okay? Okay, let's see. Number four, we're coming up on, I think. <laughs> oh, man. No, you don't really need to shake these. I think that's a nervous habit. I think shaking these is what turned me off. I, I've been turned off on BBs. I didn't start enjoying BBs until about a year ago. Daisy BB gun until about a year ago. So, number five or four? They're legal. They are legal. Yes, you can have the not in the state of New York, New York, New York City, rather. Yeah, and there's some other places where you just can't even have anything that looks like a gun. So, um, so that's rather unfortunate. But in most 
places even here in California so far. Um, these are legal. You could just go and buy one or have one sent to you from Amazon or, or from daisy.com, right? Uh, picking a daisy.com or even daisy.com, yeah. If you pick up a daisy from Amazon off of daisy, picking a daisy.com, our website, um, it won't be any cost to you, but we'll get like a, a little bit of, I don't know. They say they'll give us something, which would be nice. It'll help offset the cost of doing this stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was number four. Okay, good. Number three. <laughs> oh, I think I'm shooting over it now. There we go. Oh, this is hard getting down to the nitty gritty because one, it, it, it's difficult because all of them are great. I love the vintage ones, uh, but they don't necessarily shoot quite as good as these new ones. but they're all great. Even the new ones, the different new ones that I've picked up and the uh, vintage ones, yeah. So they're all great, but you know, just, you know, if you lose this, you're not out a vintage gun or you're not out, you know, $50 or, or $80 or however much, right? So if you lose this, the, um, you can just pick up, go pick one up, go to your local sports store and chances are this is what they got. It's a rare opportunity that there are things on the shelf in the market that are actually um, this awesome. <laughs> by the way, I am not sponsored by Daisy. Um, I pay full price for every daisy I have. And uh, now I think, you know, I don't know, you'd have to go to pickingadaisy.com to get an idea of uh, how many of vintage daisies that we have so far. But this truly is the best. Or, you know, I really enjoy shooting this more than any. This and the number 10. But the number 10 costs a little more, right? But it's nice. It has the... All they did is... The, the number 10 is just this with a, a wood foregrip. That's it. So it puts a little bit of, little bit of weight which helps balance. But when you fill this up with BBs, it's nice. It's got just a nice weight to it. Yeah. And then as, as it gets empty, the, the front starts getting a little um, lighter. And then, you know, it, it, you have to be more skillful. Use more skill to hit what you're aiming at. Number two this is a good one. Just made it up. <laughs> I'm making all these up. Sorry. Number two, the second reason why it makes is the best. The buck, the daisy buck 
Boy, should have worked with the script here. The Daisy Buck is the best gun. Because you can buy it as a gift for your uh, son or daughter. And chances are they'll get uh, tired of it and just go back to their phone and video games. And then, you know, you can play with it. Yeah, that's, that's number two. And the number one reason, boy, this one, this one kind of came very organically, I must say. And I, and I sure hope this is actually number one. I, I hope it didn't skip out on you. If not, you can maybe drop some, uh, uh, you can drop some reasons why you think the Daisy Buck is the best gun in the world. But number one is, oh boy, did I just lose it here? Let me shoot one more. We won't do number one till we hit it. Oh, we can't quit it till we hit it. <laughs> oh, I'm shooting over. I got overconfident. Now nah, that sun's changing, maybe. Okay, it's time to focus. Oh, okay. A wind has come in. Yeah. Little gusts of wind. There it is. Missed it. But that wasn't a good hit. We need a solid hit. <clears throat> there we go. Number one. It'll teach not just your kids, but even you to not shoot your eye out teaches you very critical. Now, any BB gun you could, but this one is both shootable by a youth or, as you can see, an adult, right? So it's sold as a youth gun, but boy, it's getting a lot of use from, it's gotten more use from the adult than the youth, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that was solid. So, yeah, the Daisy Buck, I, I couldn't recommend it more. And um, if any of you out there, uh, retailers are selling this, you better stock them. Stock them good <laughs> if, you, if you can, because I think this is going to be uh, historically known as one of the best of the daisies. How about we shoot a little bit more? Yeah, there we go. I think we got a bead on it. Oh, spoke too soon. Got some winds coming in. Now, just in case I missed one, Ooh. Again, you could do this with any, but the fact that you can do it with a $30 gun is it, it really teaches you uh, trajectory and hitting out at long range. I mean, imagine this kind of mimics if I were shooting equivalently out at, oh, let's say 300 yards, 600 yards, right? Then you have a lot of the same dynamics. Um, I'm sure they're different because of the, uh, the 
the shape of the projectile, right? But it all started with ball ammo, so. <laughs> really cool, really cool. All right, so uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time. The, uh, re the fires have sort of been put out by the rains, luckily, here in California, so we're experiencing uh, rain, but nice uh, air. <laughs> so, um, hey, thank you for uh, your comments and, and engaging with me here on pickingadaisy.com. And like I said, I'm going to be bringing in, um, I think I'll go chronologically, like so the earliest and then just go down the list. I think that's what we'll do. So the next video will probably be the uh, Model C, because the Model C, the Daisy Model C is the earliest gun I have. I think that's from, oh, 1909, maybe, 1910, something like that. Um, don't quote me on the date, early 1900s. Certainly, bef uh, within uh, certainly 1913 or earlier. Uh, 1913, 1914 or earlier. Uh, the reason I know that is that's why I wanted the guy. Really, really wanted it. Uh, one, uh, and I'd like to get some more. Really, um, Daisy vintage Daisies, or of course the King. Uh, from the 1914 era specifically. 1914 is very significant, of course, because of World War I. Um, you know, a lot of my appeal to collecting daisies really are connecting them to points in history. For instance, the daisies during the 1936 and 1938, 1939, like the lightning loader. When that gun was out, Hitler was coming to power in 1939. He was, he was in. We were going to war, right? Oh, he was in before 1939. But 1939, it was on. Right? The, 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 the Great War, part two, was on by 1939. And then, uh, like, 1936 Daisies really reminds me of, you know, a very... Well, one of my favorite eras in film during the early 30s, my favorite era in films. And uh, there was a lot going on progressively uh, with science and, and things of that nature. Um, and of course, there's always the connection with uh, military, what was happening uh, throughout history in the military and Daisy and what they were putting out at the time. So very very interested for me i find it very very interesting and that i can then take these little bits of history although this is a, a brand new bit of history but we can take these little bits of history and oh and miss the target We can take these out and and shoot them and plink in the backyard. Now, you know, some of the older ones, uh, I will warn you, if you get into vintage, will not be this quiet. So that's sort of, uh, I don't know what number that was, but that really is a great thing about these. They're very quiet. They are relatively safe if you wear safety glasses. And of course, don't ever, don't shoot at stuff other than uh, targets and, and uh, uh, you know, this is sort of a steel target range of sorts. You don't need anything fancy. Tin cans work awesome, right? But yeah, don't go shooting stuff. You know, like, you know, animals and 
and your friends and stuff like that. There, there are other things you can use. You can hit animals with maybe water pistols or water guns, right? You can hit your friends with um, airsoft if you have the gear on, right? So this is specifically for people that love to plank. Not target shoot. This is specifically for people like to plank, meaning planking, meaning just hitting cans and uh, hitting stuff in your backyard when it's safe, right? Safe meaning there's nothing that you, the uh, BB could bounce off of and hit maybe an animal or a, a human um, or even property for that matter, right? So uh, always take that into consideration when you're using these. They're very safe but they're only as safe as the user and your smartness in using these. Okay, one more shot. I know you're insistent. Come on, one more shot. Oh, oh two more. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time.